Okay, let's do a another example of a formal proof. Uh, this one is pulled off of a website that has a proof checker on it, and they've got some really great practice exercises. If you go to the article, I'm not I'm not super fond of the proof checker just because they're lacking some rules, um, and it's it's kind of hard to build a proof checker online. Uh, but like I said, the exercises are pretty good, so I'll go ahead and link to that in the description. All right, so first of all, what do we got going on here? We've got a universal, an existential, and we're trying to prove an existential. Uh, this one's an implication. This one is not an implication, so we're probably going to want to start off with this one right here, just because we can actually prove a statement um, rather than an implication. So let's let's go ahead start our subproof here with that one and remember we're doing a subproof because we've got an existential so let's go ahead just pick a variable so let's do a of c and that's our existential elimination line 2 c for x and we'll continue that subproof and now remember um, we're trying to prove b of x for some x and also remember that since this is universal, universal, we can reuse variable names. So it, a lot of the times it's also helpful just to, uh, to do your existential first. So let's do A of C implies B of C. Uh, here we go. So we know and that's going to be our universal elimination of line 1, and that's C for X. And again, we can reuse variables because it's universal. Uh, B of C. So we have proved that. Um, and actually, this started with the variable C. We had to assume for, for that C. So we're going to have to exit this with a, uh, and that's, it's a modus ponens, uh, three and four. And we're going to have to exit this with uh, a, an existential initialization of line five. Because we entered this existential elimination right here. We did our universal elimination we got to here because of modus ponens and then we finished up with an existential initialization of this guy right here and that is actually it for our proof